gonna show you a few things tonight on triangles. It's not necessarily like a clean offensive attack. It's almost kind of like when they're trying to pass your guard and then you capitalize on their mistakes or you just give them a false confidence and then we attack, okay? Um, so if I'm just kind of like a half guard position here, if my leg's all the way deep like this, it can be harder, but most of the time we can get our knee at least to here, okay, no big deal. But what gets bad is when he gets control of his leg. Like, say he's underhooked this leg here and came under. And, like, he's, like, almost about to shelf it here. And this, you know, this is not the best, okay, especially if you're not very flexible, okay? So he's got it shelved here. Whether he's got it in the elbow or he's got it up on the shoulder here, it doesn't matter because we're going to the same place, okay? What I have to do here is, though, I have to control this arm, okay? I've got to control it. If he puts his arm in like that, I'm going to grab it like this and pull it straight, pop his elbow, okay? So... He's going to be trying to probably come around my head, things like this. So I've got a frame built to begin with, okay? But always remember, he can go out this way. All right, so what I'm going to do, I want just to keep this on, okay? If he's posturing up a lot here, then I'll have to pull his head down some, okay? Most of the time, though, they're going to be kind of driving and putting the pressure in, okay? So I'm here. I'm two on one, okay? What I want to do here is I'm going to adjust, even though this leg's here, kind of in a triangle position, and he's probably feeling like this isn't going to happen because this is in the middle. I'm going to readjust this leg. I want a better bite than just it being here, okay? Whether I bring it out and come back in or whether I just lock it in, okay? What I want to do is raise my hips. I want to flex my foot when I do this as well. I want to raise my hips, and my knee is going to shoot. It's not just going to come out yet, but my knee is going to shoot this way. Almost like I'm bringing my foot to my knee here, like that. Okay, I bite down, and I've got to have this arm, okay? Now that I've bit down and this knee is kind of up like this. Now my foot's going to come out a lot easier. I'm not real flexible, and I've got long legs, okay? But I'll be able to get my foot out here because of this that I've created, okay? This bites it down hard. It's just not a placement. It's bit down. Now I've got this arm. I'm going to bring this one out, and I can hook that up, okay? I can hook it up and then get my angle, or I can get the angle as I hook it up, depending. Because I want it to be to the side here, okay? There. That's what I'm going for. I don't want to be straight ahead here. Okay, so this was just from like a half guard position. I've knee shielded and he, he's, he's shelved it, okay? Don't want to be here. I want to control, you know, I, I can be pushing, pulling a little bit here. He starts to reach for my head maybe. Boom, here. Okay, I'm gonna fight down, shoot that knee through. Okay, like right now, it's kind of here. I'm gonna go ahead and grab two here. Shoot it out, there. Get my angle and that's gonna be easy. Easy finish. Okay. Okay. Don't lose this arm though. What happens if you if you don't control this arm? Come on. Oh, yes, okay. yeah. There. And you do this, and I go to bite down, I go to do this, I, I don't have this arm. He's nice and easy for him. We're using this as our security to give him that false confidence that he can just get out. Because if he tries to go around, I've got that arm, I can pull back. Okay. We're gonna go from they've got even further on this. They've got like a a knee cut position here, okay, and they're under the leg, and we're here like this. Now, this isn't looking good for me, okay, but it's it's not over yet, okay? This is going to be the same principles. Always be aware, though, his easy out is going out the back way. That's why I have to keep this on. If I lose this arm, he can go that way, okay? So I'm going to go, I'm framing. I'm going to go two on one here, pull this to me. When I bite down here, when I bite, see my hip slides, okay? The hip slides out, and I adjust my hips. I've already got the angle here, okay? So that one movement puts him in a finishing position, not just a triangle hooked up. It puts him in the angle that I need to finish it, which is what I want because he has good odds of passing here, okay? So I'm here framing, trying to stop this, you know? Boom, I grab here and here. I back down, boom, and I get my angle, okay? So it's the same, same principle. They're just a little deeper into the pass. And he's got and this here. Okay? He's going for this. Okay? Number one, don't let this happen. Okay? This is not good. I'm going to be framing here. Okay? Just like this. Just like that. Okay? Now, what I'm going to do here is, as I'm framing, I'm never grabbing anything yet. I'm just here. And, and this is based off of him driving into me. Okay? If they're not driving and giving you any kind of resistance, it's going to be hard to get that push back. But most of the time when they get over under, they're sprawling, they're driving hard, okay? From here, I've got, I've got a posting up on this elbow, 
Okay, first and foremost, I gotta get here. Now, if he backs away from me and I lose tension, no triangle. This is purely off of drive, 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 drive. I'm here. When I do this, when he drives, I'm gonna throw this leg up. That's all I gotta do. Okay, he's here. I'm pressuring. He's driving around. Boom, I throw this leg up. And I'm here. Okay, because he bites down. All I gotta do now, swing this one around. Boom, again, he's very confident with this pass. And I'm here. I've got a good frame, though. I'm not out of. I'm not out of the fight yet, okay? I'm here. I have to make that decision, keep this frame, and I got a post here, okay? And he's got that drive. If he doesn't drive, I'm just gonna butt scoot away and get back to a different guard. When I'm here, I, this just kicks through and comes up to there and bites. Now I'm using this and this to lift my hips up, okay? Whereas this can come around and bite there, okay? You got all kinds of options here. For finishes, but we got to get it latched. If you just kind of throw it there and stay, he's going to try to shrug it off, and you're giving him time to work multiple triangle passes. Okay, these are designed to. It's like a snare. You set the trap, they go, they walk in it, and it's done. One, two. Three. <laughs>